If you want to know which power supply to buy for your next PC, then keep watching. So welcome back to another video, this is Team Overclocked and in today's video, I will be talking about how to pick the right power supply for your next PC. Choosing a power supply can be a bit daunting, especially to new builders because a low quality power supply can die easily and it can kill some of your other PC components as well. But today I'll be targeting the new PC builders out there and I'm going to simplify the process of choosing the right power supply. Now the obvious first step is to figure out how much power your PC is going to use. This can be found out by plugging in all of your parts onto PCPartPicker.com. This website should create an estimated power requirement for your PC in the top right and this is relatively reliable for making purchases. I would recommend that you add an extra 100 to 200 watts to the wattage estimate so you can have room for upgrades later on. Another thing that you should decide on is whether or not you want a modular power supplies. Modular power supplies let you remove extra cables. This can be useful if you want to help cable management in a small PC or if you want to install custom cable colors for a customized high budget PC. Power supplies come in non-modular, semi-modular, and fully modular flavors. Semi-modular power supplies let you remove some of the less important cables. Fully modular power supplies, as the name implies, lets you remove all cables, which allows for full customization. In general, modular power supplies cost more than regular non-modular power supplies, so keep that in mind when thinking about your budget. But now that you know what your system needs, let's get to the fun part, looking at the power supplies. One thing you're going to notice right off the bat is the 80 plus ratings. Power supply efficiencies are ranked using the 80 plus system. It means that 80% of the power that the power supply is going to be using is going to be turned into power for your PC rather than heat. Higher 80 plus ratings have a higher percentage which leads to higher efficiencies and in general, high 80 plus ratings are a sign of a better PSU. But that's not the whole story. Certain brands are better than others regardless of their 80 plus rating. The brand I would recommend buying from if you have a mid-range budget is EVGA. EVGA is a pretty popular company because they offer a lot of decent and reliable power supplies for the $30 to $50 price range. I would recommend that you go look for one of their 80 plus rated power supplies for better efficiency. I personally own an EVGA 500B and I can say I'm satisfied because it covers my PC's needs, is pretty efficient, and leaves room for upgrades. At the high end market, there are a lot more good competitors. In the higher end price range, I would say that a power supply from EVGA, Seasonic, XFX, or Corsair would be good. As a quick side note, I would recommend that you stay away from low-end Corsair power supplies since they have low quality components and have a bad reputation. But back to the main point, these brands offer high quality components and high efficiency ratings at a premium price tag. If you're not sure of the quality of a power supply brand, I would check a power supply tier list from a group like Linus Tech Tips or Tom's Hardware for reference. I will link a few down below for you to check out. The tier list basically differentiates the high and low end power supplies and it tells you which brands make higher quality power supplies compared to others. But anyways, let's go to the final step. Once you find a power supply that fits your needs, go back to the PC part breaker link that we made earlier and just add it in there. After you do that, the website should tell you if the power supply is compatible. If you follow these steps, you should end up with a great high quality power supply that will fit your PC's needs without breaking the bank. If you guys are still having trouble finding a power supply, I'm going to link a few good power supplies down below that should fit the majority of people's needs. But anyways guys, that's all for today. If you liked the video, please be sure to overclock the like button. If you didn't like it, please dislike this video and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.